Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about the maple bug, also known as the box elder bug. Now, this is going to be a super short video because there's not a ton to talk about when it comes to these guys. However, there's a reason for it. If you were on the community tab of the YouTube channel, or if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, that sort of thing, you guys would know I was in a car accident. And then shortly after my car accident, the tow truck didn't actually strap my vehicle down to the dolly. So my Jeep went through a building. And so the last little bit's been a little bit hairy carry for me. I've got back pain, mild concussion. It's just, it's not a good time. So in the name of preserving my brain. I didn't want to do two crazy videos this week. They're going to be very toned down, very simple, very short. And I apologize, but it's just kind of a part of my recovery. And I want to make sure that you guys still have some video content that's not going to tax me too, too much. So if anything looks funny in this video or the editing looks goofy, it's quite honestly because I'm bedridden pretty much. I can't do anything, I can't lift, I can't sleep. I was up till 5 a.m. this morning. It's a mess. Anyways, let's jump into maple bugs, elder box elder bugs, and exactly how to get rid of these, what they are, are they a nuisance, are they a pain, are, but do they actually harm our plants, our garden, that sort of thing. Box elder bugs, they are, a nuisance and they are gross because they actually will congregate in their little families in mass amounts. They are commonly found in nooks and crannies of trees, fences, porches, anywhere that they can get out of the intensity of the sun, the wind, they will kind of all sit together. The juveniles or the babies look much different than the adults. The babies are bright red. The adults are black with red stripes. Now, they aren't destructive, meaning they can bite, like nibble on you and leave kind of like a mosquito bite type thing. But for the most part, they are harmless to humans and they are harmless to plants. They do not eat your leaves. They do not harm your roots, nothing of that sort. However, I've experienced this because I every year have a massive infestation of them is their fecal matter is very destructive to plants, especially when you get a large quantity of it on your plant leaves. What ends up happening typically is we end up with a shitload. We end up with, um, a lack of photosynthesis, but almost like a rotting because there's just like bacteria and fungi kind of growing in that general area. So I have noticed it this, I've noticed it in particular with flowers that um, have like stem areas that they can get inside of or are um, like string of pearls or like a rosary plant where it's a very thin stem and then there's like little leaves they will coat it in like this sugary waste material and it just ruins the plant in general now there's no way to really get rid of that um, fecal matter once it's on the plant so if you notice this is the case you should seriously blast your plant off with water and then typically if you remove it from the area and just even put the pot somewhere else it will help however if it is in the ground and you're not able to remove the plant or position it in a different place then you may want to try sticky traps until you can get the box elder bugs under control now with that being said literally the easiest way to control box elder bugs or the maple bug is with a shop vac so literally vacuuming up those little weird orgies for lack of a better term of maple bugs themselves get out the shop vac and start vacuuming every time you see a congregation of them vacuum them up it does not make the next year better. Unfortunately, they will come back. However, they will overwinter in your home. They will try to find a way into your house. They will literally be in your house till December if they get in, unless you can catch them. Um, they do harm plants, both house plants, vegetables, whatever the case is, and they're gross. They literally leave their 
Pico matter all over everything. So my deck's been covered in it. I have like these glass panels on my deck walls. They've like smudged them with that stuff and it's just impossible to clean. So like I said, super short video, but definitely the best tip I have for controlling these and really the only tip I have for controlling these. Pesticides are pretty much pointless because you'd have to spray like your entire yard, which is never a good idea or safe. Organic methods don't work unless you have, you know, a handful of them. But if you have them in the level that you're probably watching this video for, then shut back is literally your only solution. Suck them up and get rid of them or sticky traps would be the next best option. Anyways, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below for controlling them. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.